Okay, so do you remember this question we did when we were calculating the volume of regular prism? So now we'll, we didn't know the volume. We knew all the three sides and we calculate the volume. Now, in this case, we are not going to know one of the sides and um, let's say we don't know the height and the volume is given to us. The volume is 30 centimeter and let's pull everything to the side so I can have some space. So, what do we do? First, you write down the volume formula that you already have by now on your study aid. Volume formula is L volume equals LWH. So let's write that down. Volume equals LWH. And now, after you write down the formula, let's write down what we know. I know the volume. It's being given 30 equals land. In this case, is 5. I push it 2 up. So let me bring it to down so we can see it properly. So L is 5 times W is 2 times H is not a number, a letter. So let's write that down, X. Now, let's organize the right side. This is still 30 equals 5 times 2 is 10. You can keep times X or simply ignore the multiplication and just write down 10X. 10X means multiplication anyway. And now you need to leave 10 alone because it's a multiplication here. We can divide both sides. And now x is alone. And 30 divided by 10 is 3. I am not surprised because we created this question. We did this before. I knew we were going to find out the missing side as 3. Just let's make sure we write down the unit as centimeter. So the missing side, x, is 3 centimeter. And now, let's do the similar question, but this time for the cylinder. And this is the question we created. And um, let me, this time, I am going to tell you the volume. So let's erase everything here. All right. And let's erase this. And volume that goes up here. That goes here. And let me just make this a little bit nicer. That is 4 and that is 10. Okay. This time, let's... Uh, if you don't know the height, believe me, things will become easier. Let's just do a quick example. So we know the radius, but we don't know the height. And we, we have the volume. So let's write down the volume formula first. If you remember, volume formula is volume equals BH. So volume in this case, 502.4 equals B. We don't know the base area. So let's calculate it on the side. Let's calculate the base on the side. 
Base area, remember this is cylinder, so cylinder underneath has the circle, so the base area of the circle is formula pi r square, and base area equals pi is 3.14 times r is 4 square, and base area is we calculate this before. Uh, 3.14 times 4 times 4 will be 50.24. 50.24 and that would be meters. Meters square. Now I know the base area. Let's go ahead and replace that there. 5024. 50.24 times height. Now I want to leave the height alone. And let's divide this with the same number. Let's divide that with the same number. 50, 24, and now height is alone, and 502.4 divided by 50.24, I know that that's 10. Use your calculator, you will get 10, and let's look at the unit, it's meter, so 10 meter. That's how easy it is when you know the volume and you know the radius, you want to find out the height. But now, let's do it the other way around. This time, let's clear almost everything. Cut. Clear everything, paste, so that's the volume, and this time, we don't know the radius, which is 4, but let's say we don't know it, let's call it x, but the height we know, that is 10 meter, and we know the volume, so how do you figure out? what the x is. Again, let's change the color here. We start with the volume formula, which is B H. And let's write down what we know. Volume is 502.4 equals B. I don't know the B. So, Let's calculate the B on the site. Base area is, again, once again, uh, circle, pi r square. Base area equals pi 3.14 times r, in this case, x. So please write down r, x. And do not forget about the score. And what else can you do here? Nothing. Base area going to stay the way it is. It's 3.14x square. That's it. There is nothing you can do here. So, let's go back. I need to write down the B. But now I know B is 3.14x squared. That's what I'm going to write down here. 3.14x squared times, I know the height, which is 10. Now I am looking at on the right side. So left side, there is nothing to do. Let's repeat what we got here. On the right side, I'm going to put 
these two numbers together and let's multiply 3.14 3.14 times 10 that will give you 31.4 use your calculator you will get 31.4 x square I didn't do anything there so I'm going to keep it as x square I have no idea what I'm going to do here but I know I'm going to get 4 radius supposed to be 4 so let's keep going now I want to leave usually I say x leave x alone but in this case I'm going to leave x square alone so I'm going to divide x square with 31.4 I'm going to divide the other side with 31.4 so this will cancel out and what I will have here is only x square and let's have the division and let's see what we will get from the division fifth five zero two point four divided by thirty one point four and I am going to get sixteen cool so that division is equal to sixteen let's keep going mathematicians teachers we are never, 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 ever interested in what the x square is. We just want to know what the x is. You can tell me, Mr. Akius, x square is 16, x cubed is this, x, uh, x uh, power of 5 is that, but I just want to know what the x is. So in order to leave x alone, take the square root of both sides. When you take the square root of both sides, this will cancel out. So you will end up with x only. So use the calculator. Square root of 16 will give you 4. And I need some spot here. So let's pull this here. Because I need to write down the volume. I mean the unit. And the unit is meter. So four meters so that's the radius 